Hey, good morning once again, options traders. Well, a question that I get a lot is why should we price options in terms of volatility? So if you've watched my videos or if you've seen some of the chat messages in the Facebook page, you know that I'm always talking about pricing options in terms of volatility. And traders still say, well, why can't we just look at them in terms of dollars? That's how we do for everything in the world. If a loaf of bread costs a dollar this week and it's a dollar ten next week, we can say the price went up or the price went down. Why can't we do that with options? Well, it's a really good question and it's a hard one to kind of wrap your brains around if you're not used to seeing why we look at options in terms of volatility. But it's really one of the most important concepts that you can grasp as an options trader. So let's take a closer look at this. Why should you price options? in terms of volatility. Well, we have to go back to one of the most basic concepts, what makes an option an option. Remember that when we look at a pricing model that all pricing factors are fixed except volatility. All of the others are known by the market. There's no room for arguing about them except for volatility. So volatility is what separates an option from stock. So this is our first clue. So for instance, let's go to a pricing model. And in a five-factor model, let's say in the Black-Scholes without dividends, we have the stock price, the exercise price, risk-free rate of interest, time to expiration, and of course, volatility. So let's put some numbers in. Let's say the stock is currently at 100. We have an at the money. So we've got the $100 exercise price. Risk-free interest rate, let's say is 2%. Time to expiration is 30 days, and we'll give volatility 20%. And if you put this into a pricing model, you'll see it's going to tell you that the call price is $2.36. So notice with a price of $2.36, if somebody else were to go into the market and price this option, they would absolutely have to use the stock price of 100 because that's where it is. They would have to use an exercise price of 100 because that's the option we're trying to evaluate. They would have to use, at least reasonably close, a risk-free rate of 2% and the time to expiration, they would have to use 30 days. There's just really no room for argument, except for volatility. One trader might say, well, I think it's going to be 20% over the life of the option. And another trader could say, I think it's going to be 25%. And they would therefore come up with a higher call value. Or another trader might say, I think it's going to be 18%. And they'll come up with a little lower value. But this is where all of the debate arises around this volatility number. So right now we can say that the options value, because it's an at the money option, is this full $2.36. And because of that, the call's full value is from volatility. But now let's change things up a bit. Let's say that the stock price instantly rises to 110 and everything else stays the same. Well, if we put this into a pricing model, it's now going to say that the call's price has risen to $10.28. Well, now here's the question. Did the options price rise from 236 to 1028? Now see, most option traders would say, well, yes, because I'm looking at it in terms of dollars. It was 236, now it's 1028. So the options price went up. Well, it didn't. To a professional trader, it fell from 236 to now just 28 cents. And that's because there's $10 of intrinsic value. So we have to subtract that out. If we take this out, subtract out $10, we have just 28 cents left. This is what you're paying, this 28 cents, for the right to walk away. This is the value of the option. So the option has actually fallen significantly. What you're looking at here, this increase to $10.28 is really a delta effect. It came about because the stock has gone up by 10 bucks. But take a look at your volatility right here. Did it change? Not at all. It is still priced at 20%. So the options volatility did not change. What happened is that the value of the option fell because of the delta effect. In other words, because this option is now $10 in the money with only 30 days to go, there's a fairly slim chance it's going to fall out of the money so that this insurance value of the call can actually kick in. Pretty slim chance it's going to fall below 100. If it does, then we're going to say, okay, that was the insurance value that we were paying. And it's fairly low, this 28 cent value, because it's a fairly low probability 
that the stock will fall through the strike price in 30 days. So again, what you're really looking at here has nothing to do with the effect of the option. It was just strictly a delta effect. We're still priced at 20%. Well, what if we had instead seen this? What if the stock went from 100 to 110, but it took 15 days to happen? So now we have 15 days to expiration. And if we put this into a pricing model, it says that that call is worth about $10.10. So remember, the initial price was $2.36. So the question is, did the options price rise from 236 to 1010? And again, traders would say, well, yes, of course, because I'm looking at it in terms of dollars. Well, no, it didn't. Just as before, we're going to say it actually fell from 236 to just 10 cents. And that's because we have $10 of intrinsic value. We subtract that out. What we're paying over and above this for the right to walk away is 10 cents. So what actually caused the change in price here is a delta effect and a time effect these two in red, but notice that the volatility did not change. The options value in these cases didn't really change. It's still priced at 20%, but in terms of dollars, it fell from 236 to 10 cents. So again, yes, I know it can be confusing, but that's why I keep harping on this and try to keep drumming this into traders' heads. You've got to get out of the habit of looking at option prices in terms of dollars. There are certainly times that that's applicable if you're trying to find out gains and losses and things like that. But if you're trying to find out what's happening with your option, which is ultimately what you're trading, you always need to look at it in terms of volatility. So remember, volatility is what makes an option an option. Options priced in terms of dollars may show a stock effect or a delta effect, and they might show a time effect or a theta effect, but neither of these are option effects or volatility effects. So if you want to know what's happening to the value of your option, you need to use the implied volatility as shown by the market. That's going to give you a lot more insights into what's happening to the value of your option, and that's going to allow you to make better decisions. And so, for anyone who'd like to learn more about the arts and science of options trading, please check out the Alpha Trader course, Strategy Lab, and a technical analysis course. It's all at optionsa-z.com. Also, please join us on the Facebook trading group, Options A to Z, and you can find a link in the description below.